guys, Atar and Silva here. Today, I wanted to talk about the upgrades I've done to my Tricom chest rig. So, uh, first things first, I have added a molly section, I'll show you, to this side. I've gotten rid of two of the grenade pouches, or oil pouches, or whatever they are, right, grenade pouches, um, and added a strip of molly. I know I'm bastardizing this old kit, but it was $18 on Amazon. I can do whatever the hell I want to it. So, did that, and then sewing machine, sewing these strips on, and now I have this. Can I get it back down in there? General purpose pouch, along with a supp supplementary grenade pouch on the end. So, if I really want to throw a grenade in there, I can. Is its head a bit of a pain? So that's because I'm wearing it when I'm doing it. I'm usually not wearing it when I'm trying to attach it back on there. Trust me, guys. It's cool. It works. See how cool it is? I'm not going to fuck with it anymore. All right. Anyway. Um, and I've got this uh, just pouch that can hold whatever you want in. I, have a, I actually have a med kit in there right now. And then I have this little just American grenade pouch on the outside. You can put whatever else on here if you want to do or whatever. This can carry whatever you want a grenade a radio a uh, ooh i'll put my radio in there i'll do that later anyway it doesn't matter um yeah and yes there's an albanian flag on here it's just uh me and my friend are trying to throw together like a little albanian pmc kit just a little bit of fun um so yeah that's on that side um other than that the only modification is the buckle in the back i don't know if you can see that there's a buckle just to make it easier to attach, which I, which I think I had when I did my Tricom video, but it doesn't really matter. That's another little easy upgrade you can do. And other than that, for actual upgrades, I haven't really done anything. One thing I do want to do is put little elastic strips in between the mag pouches, because I saw a picture of a guy in the Chechen War who had like a smoke grenade through it, so I think it'd be cool to have those to put like a flashlight in between or something else. Um, and now with these other pouches, I use this to put my radio in because I got a uh, bail fang. I have a bail fang. I put that in here to use. Um, but I might actually put it on the out here so it doesn't get in my face as much. But then kind of mess with my arm. I don't know. I'm still figuring out the logistics of having my radio because it has a long has a long antenna on it because I think it looks cool and I want to keep it that way. But other than that, the Tricom has been serving me really well. I've had it for two months or like two or three months now and it has served me completely fine um i am so happy with it and uh if you got one because you saw my video i hope you like it too um it is phenomenal i still run it as my main piece of kit it's just awesome i want to do more stuff to i want to put velcro on the outside so i can put one of my shotgun um shell holders on it which i think that'd be really cool to do um, but it's kind of hard to get in there to get like in the magazine pouch and so stuff but for now it works i also have some more speaking of magazine pouches i have three more rpk mags on the way so i'll be able to have three rpk mags in here and the one of my rifle that'll look sick but no and then i still have these two pouches over here this one on the far end it holds a little compass because i didn't have anything else to throw in there and then this usually holds my radio and if you noticed i have this medic bag we got this it's pretty cool it's a reproduction like nato medic bag and i'm using as a side pouch because when i have those rpk mags i'm going to put these regular 30 rounders i'm probably going to hold them in there because i might get more get more magazines because you can never have too many so this would just probably be another magazine holder since it is understand you know it is a little bit limited three magazines seems like a lot but if you play airsoft for a while and you're on full auto, right, since I, because, you know, I have this AK, and I'm going to be running it with, oh. wow, I cannot, I'm going to be running it with RPK mag, it would be more of a squad, squad support, right? So, you certainly, 800 rounds, which these magazines hold, does go a long way, but not as long as you think. When you're shooting, you know, 17 rounds a second, like mine is, or shooting around that, or no, it might, it might be more like, no, not a second. Sorry, what am I saying? I don't know the statistics. I still need to get a chronograph so I can actually test that. I don't know why I'm getting off topic now. Other than that, yeah. So the back buckle, 
and then I have just been adding more space. That's really what this is all about, just adding more areas to hold stuff so you're not limited in what you can carry with you. So, like, I have this bag, and I have these pouches. And now you could do, I recommend doing the molly. Um, you could do it to both sides if you want to, which I might end up doing just to add more just modernity to it and make it more modern and make there be more room for general purpose pouches. I want to put another smaller general purpose pouch on this side. I kind of want to do that. But I don't know, though. I'm going to see how holding a radio... I, I need to figure out where I'm going to hold my radio because that's important. But that will just happen with time as I experiment more with running my kit and actually using it. But for now, this is what I have the Tricom set up with, and I think it looks better. I think it's helping bring it to the modern age, and it isn't as obsolete as one may think it is. Um, sorry for the loud noise. Anyway, uh, I think that's about it. Just want to make this kind of quick video talking about this Tricom. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I uh, can't wait to see you next time.